This one will be a short one, I think. Any co-op developers doing work for indigenous communities? I'm currently engaged in volunteer work focusing on assisting an indigenous community in the high Andes to establish a cooperative. After two years of dedicated effort, we're poised to launch the project in about six months. I'm eager to connect with like-minded individuals involved in similar initiatives, seeking to exchange ideas and offer mutual support. Um, my first question, I guess, for, is, is actually for this person would be, what are you doing? Like, like, how are you assisting a community in the Andes forming a cooperative, right? Like, um, like I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm curious as to what that looks like as somebody who, you know, at some point, you know, was quote unquote, assisting a, a community in Nepal, like building a school. Um, and I actually, you know, helped them try to set up a, tried to help them set up a co-op, but you know, what that experience taught me very clearly is, is, I mean, it was already clear before that was uh, as a volunteer from outside the country, there ain't much you can do. Like legitimately, like if like the, the people in the co-op make the co-op just like anywhere else. It's like, if you were assisting, if you're a volunteer assisting people set up a co-op in the U S as I've also done, it's the same deal. <laughs> like there's, you know, you could, your assistance is, is very limited. Um, and, and of course, you know, it, there's always the, the question of, um, you know, is this a, you know, what kind of effort is this? Is this a grassroots effort? Is this some kind of top down thing? Um, so anyway, I don't know if you have any thoughts on co-op developers working with indigenous communities in the high Andes. Or any well, place else. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how far I would even be able to participate in this conversation, but one thing that comes to mind for me is, well, who is the person? How what's their relationship to to the locals? Um, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a trend that's gonna that's starting to develop also, and I'm not saying this person is white, but um, where some folks of color are gonna begin to regard um, white folks getting involved with uh co-ops of color as infiltrators like i've already i'm already starting to see those complaints because there are certain forms of dependency and and then the white and then the like the white domination bleeds into the it corrupts the effort but um that's more for just like in general for co-op awareness um mm -hmm. some of those mm -hmm. dynamics i mean and also i, I mean and i just think i don't know i first i read this and i just kind of assume that this person is an American. Um, they write as though they're an American, uh, like, you know, just the style of English, I guess, how they spell cooperative. Um, and I just wonder what in the hell does, can any American teach anybody you know, like United States of America, American, teach any South American about cooperation <laughs> or like community building or anything like, dude, we need to be going down there to learn from, from them. Like, I'm pretty sure not, the other way around since like from what i can tell basically anybody outside the u.s is probably just better at cooperating <laughs> naturally than we are we're, we're pretty trash um like on the global uh, scale so um anyway uh yeah it, 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 mostly with this question i just find there's some possibly problematic aspects to it as you're pointing out well, i mean it'd be cool to find out that they are like uh indigenous person who you know they're they've gone from like one part of that uh area to another part and they happen to be interested in the co-op model um hopefully not disregarding the what might be way better ways of relating that exist that Maybe some folks don't want to share it to the outside world. Um, so mm -hmm. quickly. Yep. Yeah, there's that as well. I mean, it's always touchy. Like we have a history of colonialism, right? Like, so when you're just like another white person, but you're like, well, I know like for hundreds of years, we've been saying we're only here to help. <laughs> <laughs> but this time for real for real i'm only here to help like i know the last time they were here they said we're only here to help and then they like stole all your shit and like <laughs> raped the land and all that but I, no no this time you can trust me like come on 
man. Like history exists. Like let's like have some awareness of who we are as Americans, or at least for me, like as a white American, especially like, yeah, of course. Like why would, why would anybody trust us? Like, oh, you're just here to, because you have positive values you want to share with us. Well, that's literally what we've been saying forever. So like, <laughs> we need something better. Um, 